next learning outcome so here you would give heading as uh, e a a and l c m and make an arrow and say comparing project with unequal lives comparing projects with unequal lives okay so let us say uh, we are looking at project a and project b so project a at time zero requires you to invest uh, 60000 and it has a life of 2 years so first year it will get you a cash flow of 40000 second year it will get you a cash flow of 50000 project b requires you to invest 90000 and the life is 3 years so first year it will get you a cash flow of 60 second year it will get you a cash flow of 50 third year it will get you a cash flow of 40 both of them have same discount rate of 12% uh, per annum okay. so my first question to you calculate NPV of both the projects calculate NPV of project A as well as project B yes tell me how much for A 1 6 5 and and 3 1 9 done now tell me which one of these two should we select B why higher NPV but then <clears throat> even though it has higher NPV it requires you to invest a one additional years of time one additional year of efforts to be able to generate an NPV right so when you are comparing projects with unequal lives then you are not doing an apple to apple comparison are you following what I am saying so then there are two solutions which have been proposed to handle this one way of handling this is you use the LCM method remember LCM from the school what is that least common multiple so least common multiple is that project A is for 2 years B is for 3 years what would be LCM here 6 so you do project A 3 times and you do project 2 2 times so that both of them become 6 year projects then calculate NPV and then choose the one which has a higher NPV or you use EAA method which is equivalent annual annuity method okay and both the methods will always get you the same result that means if LCM says that choose project A then EAA will also tell you to choose project A are you following what I am trying to say here? So let's do the LCM first. Or do you want to try? Give it a shot. Try LCM, then we will do EAA together. Alright, so I am going to solve this here now. This is year 0, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So project A, at time 0, your investment was. So let me just write in thousand sixty. Then at time one you received forty. Then at time two you invest fifty. But again you will have to invest sixty. So your net cash flow here will become minus ten. And then you would receive forty. Then you would receive fifty minus sixty minus ten forty and fifty. So the cash flows that you insert while calculation of NPV minus 60, 40, minus 10, 40, minus 10, 40, 50 and your discount rate is going to be 12%. So NPV will come out to be 37887. Now for project B 
the cash flows would be like this so again timeline 0 1 5 6 so you will invest 90 here and then you will get 60 50 40 minus 90 so that's net minus 50 and again you would get 60 50 and 40 so your NP will come out to be 54609 so again on based on LCM method project B appears to be a smarter project are we okay here now EA method is even easier so what you do in equivalent annual annuities you would say that for two years we are earning 15574 this is what we are earning in totality for two years so how much should we earn per year okay but don't do any cross multiplication because there is a time value of money involved so let's do it second clear TVM second clear TVM 15,574 is present value because that's what we've earned 15,574 is present value 2 should be N 2 is going to be your N 12 is going to be your IY compute payment how much is that 9 2 1 5 so on an average on an annual basis you are going to earn 9 to 1 5 so the name of the method itself tells you how to solve this equivalent annual annuity annuity is payment correct so what is the equivalent payment per annum that's the answer how do we solve this here we will say for three years we have earned 31902 so how much is an equivalent amount per annum so again second clear TVM second clear TVM 31902 would be present value 3N 12YY compute payment 13 2 8 2 so 13 2 8 2 is your EAA have you understood the intuition have you understood the logic now how are these methods linked with each other so what you do now is say second clear TVM 13282 payment 13282 payment 6N 12IY compute present value how much 54609 so to make it easier for you I'm going to write this here 13282 6N 12IY compute present value so I want you to understand the logic behind this and the logic is this that when I do project A every year I earn 9215 so if I do project A for two years then on totality basis I will earn 15574 but if I do project A for six years then again my per annum, per annum earning is not going to change correct so the same logic you can apply here as well just give it a shot 9215 would be your payment 9215 would be your payment 6 would be your N because now you are doing this activity for 6 years 12 would be your IY compute present value is the number matching so therefore even on the exam if they ask you to use this method and if they ask you that find out what would be the NPV if you use if you do this project for 6 years don't spend time you know building this sheet the fastest way to do it is get EAA and then set that as payment and compute the present value do you want to ask any questions here should we go ahead then okay next heading same learning outcome capital rationing tell me what is this what is capital rationing so we we have limited money and we have more more than the money that we have those number of opportunities to invest so then we should 
prioritized or optimized in such a way that NPV maximizes. So what, what they would do on the exam is, I don't think they will, but if they do, they will give you project A, B, C, D, E, F, G with initial investment of each one of them, NPV of each one of them and then they will say this is your capital budget. Okay, so you try multiple combination A plus B, A plus C, A plus B plus C and the combination that produces maximum NPV is your answer. So what you can simply do is look at the three options, option A, option B, option C and then start with maybe B and test your luck. <laughs>